Welcome. I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in Los Angeles, and today we are going to be making a creme anglaise with brandy. Let's get started. We are going to need one pint of heavy cream, that's also known as two cups, five egg yolks, and uh, four ounces of granulated sugar. And when we flavor the creme anglaise, uh, we're going to utilize a little bit of vanilla extract, one to two teaspoons. And finally, one tablespoon of brandy. So we're going to begin scalding our dairy. That results in taking our heavy cream, putting it into a medium size pot. A lot of pastry chefs will take about half of their sugar and slowly pour it over the cream. And the remaining half is gonna come into play later on. Uh, the reason why pastry chefs do this quite often is they say that the sugar helps keep the uh, dairy from burning. And we're gonna start to bring that up to just below boil, scalding. What we're looking for when we scald is we're looking for bubbles to come around the rim of the pot letting us know that it's just about ready to break a boil. While that's happening, we go ahead and we proceed to combine our eggs and our sugar. A lot of chefs will tell you that it's really important that you don't start to mix your sugar and your egg yolks together too early. If you wind up combining them too early and you let them sit after blending them like this, the sugar is hygroscopic. It's gonna wind up pulling out all the moisture out of the egg yolks, and you're, what you're gonna be left with is really grainy consistency of uh, sugar in the bottom of the bowl. No visible uh, egg anymore at all. The sugar will absorb it all. And it's what pastry chefs call burning. Our dairy here is scalded. We're starting to see some bubbles around the rim of the pot. And at that point, we're ready to combine the two. If we wind up taking this hot liquid, however, and we dump it right into these eggs, what's gonna happen is the hot liquid, which is hovering at around 200 degrees right now, is gonna wind up cooking the eggs, and they're gonna scramble. So one of the things that we do is we gradually introduce the hot liquid into the eggs in a process called tempering. Gonna take my hot liquid and slowly pour in the hot liquid into the bowl while I'm constantly whipping it. What this does is this is gonna bring up the temperature of the eggs and cool off the temperature of the hot dairy so the eggs don't scramble. Here I have some hot water. You can tell from the steam that's floating up on top, it's just below a boil. We take our bowl, set it over the pot, lower the heat, and then we wanna begin stirring it. Really important that we give it a gentle stir and keep the egg mixture moving. If you let it sit in one spot for too long, the eggs are gonna scramble. You're gonna get a big thick layer of cooked egg on the edge of your spatula, and also your vanilla sauce is gonna have a decidedly cooked egg taste to it which is something that we're not looking for. As I continue to stir, notice I'm gonna take the spatula and go all around the circumference of the liquid and all over the bottom of the bowl. Wanna keep that mixture moving. Not a bad idea occasionally to pick up your bowl and make sure your water underneath is not boiling. After several moments, you'll actually notice that the liquid inside the bowl is gonna increase in viscosity. As you start to stir it around, you're gonna notice the liquid as the spatula moves throughout it is gonna be considerably thicker. And the sauce consistency that we're commonly looking for for a sauce of this type is what the French call nappé. So the classic nappé test, a spoon is gonna wind up working best, a metal spoon, so the sauce has uh, some surface to stick to, a plastic spoon or something like this silicone spatula is not gonna give you a really accurate feel for it because the sauce is just gonna slide right off of those two surfaces. We wind up taking a metal spoon, dip it into the sauce. The sauce should coat the back of the spoon very, very lightly, and we should be able to take our finger and cut across that coating and that coating that I made should not drip back down. That's a really good nappé. Okay. And you can see how the sauce is slightly thicker. This is ready to cool off and store. Larger batches would be uh, more practically cooled off by taking your bowl and setting it inside a larger bowl that has some ice water in it, making what's called an ice bath. A smaller batch like this will be fine to just stir it for several moments out at room temperature and then go ahead and stick it into the refrigerator. Once the thickening uh, takes place, we can go ahead and we can add in our flavoring. Earlier I was mentioning some vanilla extract. We can take a little bit of vanilla and pour that in, about a teaspoon or so. Wind up taking about a teaspoon of brandy or tablespoon of brandy and stir it on in, get it blended really well, give it a taste, and if you want some more brandy flavor, you know what to do. That is our creme anglaise with a brandy sauce. Really great to uh, put over a chocolate souffle. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on other links so you can get other recipes. If you don't see something that interests you, email a request to 
to requests at mahalo.com. Also be sure to subscribe so you can get lots of wonderful additional information. Thanks and I'll see you soon.